everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm making a birthday card for my girlfriend's daughter who's turning or who turned 15 today. Uh, I, I don't recall ever making a birthday card for a 15 year old, but this is what I came up with. Uh, her favorite color is periwinkle, so the closest that I had was the lavender or the purple color. And then I went through my stash because I wanted something a little bit more colorful on the top than just putting these flat on the solid color. So I came across this. Now, I'm not really sure where I got it from, but it's got really pretty green on the back of it as well. Um, but we're not going to we're not going to use the green part. And I'm going to add some bling to this. Um, this is Coordination's cardstock from Joanne's. It's not very strong. I'm or not very thick, I should say. Um, I'm not even thinking it's probably it's less than 65 pound if there's such a thing um, because it's it's that's it's gonna help by putting this layer on top of it make it a little bit um, more like a cart you know a thick card or really thick I don't know what the word I'm looking for stronger sturdier sturdier that's what it is a sturdier card all right so I came across this cute little die cut on the Cricut design space from Storybook um, and it says birthday girl and I cut the bottom layer in black and then the uh, girl color in like a cream colored cardstock and I'm just gonna put some glue on that fifteen hmm I don't think I even remember being fifteen yeah actually I do some people go, you know, oh, I love to go back when I was younger. Mm, nah, not, not 15, maybe 20, 21, around there, 23. I was doing good then. Okay, so that's that. Let's flip this around. And I'm afraid that this is going to squirt out. So I'm just going to put drops here and there and try instead of trying to cover the whole thing especially on the edges like so and the little ends because they tend to pop up this is a little bit easier because it's bigger okay flip this around I just do better with tweezers <clears throat> and then I don't get glue in my fingers either I'm going to put that at the very top right there. Such cute paper. I have no idea where this came from. Hmm. Matches perfectly with the card that I'm trying to do, though. All right, and then I have this cute little cupcake. And this comes from Sweet Treats Cricut Cartridge. And this is the bottom layer. And then I'm going to put this really light purple color on it. Have to be careful I don't get my card in that. These uh, paper, this paper right here, I believe, is Colorbach from Walmart. If anybody is curious, and this is the part of the little wrapper. Now, this cupcake comes with a cherry, which I'm going to put a pink cherry on it, and then I'm going to add a little bling instead of um, the cut. Actually, comes with a little teeny tiny. Uh, circle that goes with it that you put on the tray, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, I wanted to pop this up. Oh, there we go. Just get you know, pop it up a little bit. I still don't have my craft room organized like I want to after the move. Just everything seems to be happening, and I can't can't get it together life getting in the way of my crafting how dare it right it is starting to really annoy me though I'll wake up one morning probably at like three or four in the morning and go that's it and I just come down here and start going through everything all right so it pops up a little bit all right let's put the bling on this is uh, recollections and it's sparkly and these little doodads here not really sure um, what they're for except for bling. I'm going to make it for bling. So it's going to go there. And as you can see, I use the um, smaller ones more often than I do the bigger ones. So I'm pleased 
that I'm able to use these up. You know, for the six, going on seven years of scrapbooking and card making, I always struggled getting bling off paper by using my fingernails and my tweezers and, but for some reason this idea popped into my head. Why don't you use your spatula? So, I did, and I am from now on. Then it doesn't flip out, like, you know, fling across the crafting table. <laughs> okay, so I have this little piece of um, cream filter cardstock that came from these two cuts that I'm going to be putting on the inside, and then I can write her a little message. Now, typically the OCD in me would say, oh gosh, it doesn't cover, you know, this whole thing up, but I kind of just you know want to be a little different here than what I usually do and you know using up my scraps and I'm going to put it in just like that all right if you have any questions um, leave a comment I'll get back to you and have a nice day